So hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Filipa, I am an illustrator. And today I want to tell you a little story about myself and how I became a full-time illustrator using Fiverr. So this story actually happened in around 2018, so it was a couple of years ago. At the time I had stopped my full-time job as a nurse, but I was already thinking about it for a long, long time. It was something that kind of by accident happened and I decided it was the right timing for me to stop. And so while I had to have some time off and while I was thinking about what was my next step because my dream always was to work as a full-time illustrator, I decided that since I was taking care of some family uh, issues, I would try to find some jobs online in order to try and gain some extra money. And so I went to Fiverr, of course Fiverr was one of the many freelance websites that I've tried and I have posted a gig there, I think you call it a gig, right? A gig in Fiverr is basically your, your post where you say the kind of service that you are offering to the world. And so I would offer simple illustrations, of course five dollars each and with those five dollars of course Fiverr does take a commission but I was just trying things out and to be honest when I did I barely knew how to use my Wacom uh, uh, I had one of those uh, bamboo Wacoms that uh, you don't even have a screen to draw in and I had downloaded GIMP that is a free design software uh, and I decided, well, if someone eventually asks me for anything, I'll learn how to use it then. And so that's exactly what I did, because actually I only used to draw on paper. Uh, I never had tried digital paintings by then. It seems very complicated in the beginning, but I decided, well, I think about it if ever, uh, anyone eventually asks me to do anything. And eventually someone did, and it was actually someone from Australia, if I'm not mistaken. They wanted a small illustration for a magazine they were working on, and they, they told me for the complexity of the drawing they were asking me, it was actually, I would charge then around 20 or 30 dollars, because they wanted a lot of characters and a lot of... It was a bit complex, in a very simple style, black and white. And I remember saying the price and the person was like, well, but I only have really five dollars. Would that be okay? Would you still do it for me? And honestly, of course today I wouldn't do it. But honestly, back then I was like, well, it seems pretty cool to do a drawing and for people to pay me for it. So I guess I'll try. <laughs> Not that anyone. In the past, of course, people had paid me for drawings. Uh, while I was in college, I was I used to do people's portraits in a really a realistic manner and I would sell those also very cheaply but you know it was just for fun and to, to have some extra money and so in this I was like I kind of want to draw so I'll just accept it anyway and so I did and I didn't think too much about it but truth be told that after that a couple more requests started coming and I guess on Fiverr now even more after you, you have a first request and a first review, then it's more easy for people to start to, to find you. And so, slowly but surely, things started growing from there. Not in a very steady way, but especially I remember this started around February, and uh, there were a couple of months I didn't have a lot, but it, there was always some illustrations coming, but especially around Christmas time, I think it was November or so, I started receiving a ton of requests and very rapidly I saw that I didn't have time to do all of those. I even wondered about hiring someone to help me uh, do stuff or, or hiring, I mean, to kind of try and split things with them. But, I mean, still it wasn't enough money, I guess, for people who want to, 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 to do it. Uh, so I ended up just refusing or saying that it would take me a long time to do those. And so there was a lot of drawings that I wasn't able to make. But that was when really things started eating off. 
and I started receiving a normal full-time income through Fiverr. We don't have huge salaries here in Portugal, <laughs> so probably if you are American or something, maybe it wasn't still enough for you, but it was enough for me to have my life. I live pretty simply, but more than anything, more than that, through Fiverr, I was able to connect to a lot of new long-term clients. A lot of clients would look to my portfolio online, they would ask me for a request a simple drawing or something, and then after it, if things worked out and we would uh, get along, they would many times ask me to do stuff even outside of Fiverr, and that was how I gained a lot of different long-term clients true fiber and it was mainly true that where when i was able to have a stable income because each time a client would stop working with me because i would end the project or something uh, usually i would have another to to fill its own uh, shoes and of course always having at the same time these little gigs coming from fiverr and this funny enough is really how i started becoming a full-time illustrator and now I was able to do a lot of different children's books. Um, I actually have some here. One minute, 37 seconds later. So these two were my first ever made children books that they were ordered through Fiverr. These two. <laughs> they're, on, they're selling on Amazon. Of course, I did this uh, work and I sold the illustrations, so it's not like I receive any commission for them, but I'm still very proud of these. I did, I think, five or something total with this particular client, and it was amazing, and I really, really enjoyed it. We had a great relationship, and so it opened the way for me to, to really explore deeply. Of course, I was able to learn how to use GIMP fully, and these two, I draw them using GIMP, <laughs> all of them, and it was such a such a transition because I I didn't know how to use directly. I it was weird for me to draw directly on GIMP, and so many times I would draw on paper and then take a photo, post it on GIMP, and then I'll trace it and color it and doing I would do things like this because also I don't have a scanner or anything. And by doing this and having a lot of patience, of course, I started working a couple of learning a couple of tricks. And uh, sometime after, uh, I was able to have enough money to buy a secondhand Wacom Cintiq, and it's the one I use right now. And it's so much easier, and it's it saved me so much time. Of course, I was able to do everything on GIMP, but it was amazing. And now, of course, I don't use GIMP anymore. Now I use Clip Studio Paint, which I absolutely love. And uh, I mean, I guess this is how I became a full-time illustrator on Fiverr. With time and some things happened, I stopped working there because, of course, you do a lot of work that it's not really a great pay. If you are able to have a lot of people working for you, maybe and you are able to accept a lot of quick um, gigs that, that you can do them quickly, maybe eventually you, you can do a business out of it because you can gain a lot of visibility there. And as I started going up in the, the ranking you could say i started gaining a ton of visibility and that's how i i gained a lot of jobs then i started noticing that if i wouldn't agree with what someone was asking me or if the price or they wanted to pay me less and i would have to refuse a, a gig or something like that each time i would refuse or um, that talking with a person wouldn't end in them ordering me something i noticed that fiverr started taking me out of those of that list of my rank would go a little lower and i noticed a ton of difference and then i i stopped investing on fiverr and I, I put it on hold for a while and when you put it on hold then you really suffer a lot of consequences so Fiverr is great for you to start and tiptoeing um, if you have a lot of patience but overall long term it doesn't really work it's it's great to gain some confidence and to, to start somewhere 
but long term I wouldn't really advise using it. Um, at least this was my experience with it and yes since then I only worked with clients I had known through Fiverr. Of course then I eventually lost my clients uh, and I wasn't able to, to replace them and I, I, I had a, a kind of a, I needed a kind of a break. I was feeling burned out and now I'm trying to return by posting videos and doing some work on Instagram and it's going great. So, but yeah, feel free to check my social media, my Instagram. And yeah, if you have any kind of questions or if you just want to comment for the algorithm, I would truly appreciate it. But other than that, I wish you a wonderful day. Hope that you are having a nice day, <laughs> a nice life. <laughs> and I'll see you around soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye everyone.